My ex's past may end my relationship. My fiance, 30 male, and I, 31 female, have been together for nearly three years. We were super excited for our wedding that's going to take place six months from now. I had a hard boundary against exes in the relationship, and we both agreed that no pictures, no contact, no stories, nothing. Prior to meeting me, he was in a serious relationship for about the same time as us. However, his ex, 29 female, one day told him that she no longer loved him and they broke up. He was heartbroken and it took him months to heal. Since his ex was blocked, her mom contacted my fiancé and told him that she had cancer and wanted to meet him one last time. This was a difficult decision considering my boundaries, but I felt really sorry that this girl was going through this at such a young age, so I supported my fiancé's decision to go see her, but on the condition that I would be in the same room as them. Apparently, she had developed skin cancer and the doctor had drawn up a prognosis for her a few months before they broke up. The ex told both of us that she wanted him to live a happy life with a woman who could share life with him and she wished us well. That's why she lied about not loving him anymore and that she always loved him this whole time. She recently passed three weeks ago and my fiancé is a mess now. I can't unsee the way they both held each other's hands and the look of nostalgia and love in his eyes for her. As I was looking on, I felt like an outsider. It's so difficult and hurtful to see him cry about another woman who he once loved. I literally can't unhear things he said to his mom in the kitchen one day. I wonder what life could have been like with her. We could have been a happy family of our own. She wanted kids with me, and we could have named her Rose like she wanted. Where does this leave me? Why am I in his life still if he'd rather be with someone else? I promised myself that I'll only ever be with a guy for whom I am his one and only and first priority. I saw that in him before, but now... I don't know. Trust me, I'm not a heartless person and I would rather not put myself in any position where I'll consider myself to be a monster. But this feels incredibly complicated and extremely hurtful to feel like a third wheel in my once happy and thriving relationship. He's been reaching out to me for support and I lent a listening ear and he's been telling me so many stories from his time with her and I didn't like any of it. My therapist told me while having empathy is important, I shouldn't have to lose myself in my relationship even if circumstances are hard. Two days ago, he received a package in the mail, and it was from the ex's sister. Apparently, it was a photo album from their old times together that his ex wanted him to have. My fiancé held it so gently and teared up a little, and I literally broke down on the floor crying, having a panic attack. I think I almost unloaded all of what I've been feeling, the third wheel, the unfairness of the whole situation based on what my boundaries around exes had been. My anger at the ex for inserting herself in our lives for no good reason when both of us were literally so happy and how things were panning out regarding our wedding, questioning where his loyalties lie, and I think I did it in one of the most hurtful ways. I told him that we need to pause our wedding plans for now and wanted a week or two off to think about our relationship. I'm at my sister's place and haven't been able to sleep or eat properly ever since. It's almost as if I'm falling out of love with my fiancé and he's been calling me and texting me non-stop. I feel so guilty right now. He was in a horrible place a few years ago, and I'm afraid I might be triggering that again. He says his ex is already passed, and it's going to break him if I leave him too. If I leave him too? Emphasis on the two. I'm just done. What the heck am I supposed to do? So I'll leave it up to the ladies first. <clears throat> You take care of you. <clears throat> you have a clear view of who you are. Who you were, rather. And if you cannot communicate enough with him to explain where you're at, what are you doing in an affianced relationship? Uh, I don't know, it's hard. There's a lot of layers to it. And I wish I could have a bit more time to think about it.
he obviously still has all the feelings. And if he has all the feelings for the one, she's rightfully asking, where am I? I don't, there's too many questions. I would say just pause, pause. It's okay to pause and think. Wait, okay, I I wondered about that too. Is Was he saying that the ex is in the past, as in she, the fiancé is the future? Or was he saying that she had passed away? Okay, in layman's terms, what happened was that the fiancé, their fi her fiancé, just found out that, her, that his ex-girlfriend only broke up with him because she found out that she has cancer exactly. and she may die. And then she came back realizing that, you know, time is short. So she got back in contact with the male fiance and told him that was the reason why I broke up with you. It wasn't because I fell out of love with you. It wasn't because I found somebody else or anything else. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to move on and find somebody else. It's a bit cruel of her to come back once she's made the decision to break. Yes. That's that's my opinion. Sorry. But okay, has she passed away? Or yes, yes she's she gone. has. So I still think it's time to pause and this is new information for him. He's got to consider it. He's, but at some point he's going to have to choose as to who is his partner. <laughs>